begin with the next theory another part of this chapter type of orbitals till now what we have studied is the electrons that what is the distance and how we can find out the position of the electron right etc now we will study about the orbitals why we have to study about the orbitals to understand the chemical bonding to understand the the basic bonding between two different kinds of molecules or an atoms we have to understand that what is an atomic orbital actually is and what are the types of such kind of orbitals because these orbitals are not actually involved in each and every kind of atom it depends upon its electronic configuration that which orbital will be fulfilled or which will be filled with an electron or which will take part in the chemical bonding this is the significance that why we have to study the atomic orbitals right let's move on to the next one that is what do you understand by atomic orbitals right so to understand that what is an atomic orbital orbitals are the areas where the electron resides around the atomic nucleus so the atomic orbitals are the areas which surrounds the atomic nucleus in which the electrons moves or electron resides it's a home of electrons they generally happens or they generally position in different energy states depending upon the orbitals right now let's see the types of orbitals first one s orbital next one p orbital after that we have d orbital and last one f orbital here s is the most nearest to the nucleus to the any kind of atomic nucleus after that p orbital comes into existence then d and the last one is f f is considered as at the highest distance from the atomic nucleus or it is farthest from the atomic nucleus right now let's see that how they looks actually here as you can see the s orbital has only one type so it has a shape which is spherical right and the maximum number of electrons which can be filled into this is 2 the capacity is 2 after that we have p orbitals so we can divide them into three different parts number 1 px number 2 py number 3 pz now the maximum number of electrons which are possible into this is 6 as three different types are there two is the maximum capacity of single orbital the maximum capacity of all those are 6 okay now let's move on to the next one which is d orbitals right okay so d orbitals has clover leaf shape as we have seen that p has dumbbell shape d has clover leaf shape can be divided into five different types number 1 dxy number 2 dxz number 3 dyz number 4 dx square minus y square and the last one dz square now total five different kinds of orbital were involved so maximum number of electrons which are possible here are 10 5 into 2 so maximum number of electrons are 10 not more than that can be possible now the last one f orbital which is most far or which is far away from the atomic nucleus can be divided into seven different types it has a very 
complex structure or it has very complex shape because in, it involves different different kinds of orbitals or in different different directions so the maximum number of electrons which are possible is 14 7 into 2 14 okay it is most far or it is farthest from the atomic nucleus now let's understood that how they combine together they generally overlap with each other or when they came near to each other at that time the electronic transition occurs right or the electron moves from one orbital to another orbital in order to form a molecule in order to form a compound in order to move right in order to form a chemical bond so to understand how the chemical bond formation actually occurs we have to understand that how and which kind of atomic orbital is involved here right as these atomic orbitals combine together to form the molecular orbitals and the molecular orbitals are responsible to manufacture or that which kind of bond will be present in our particular kind of complex next you will see in our next session thank you so much everyone